Panther. He won national championships and conference championships in his first three years on the job in North Dakota. And for the Fighting Hawks and the Pioneers, top offense in the country in Denver, five and a half goals per game. The top defense in the country for North Dakota, a program that has allowed just 1.9 per game this season. Yeah, and I think it makes just for a great matchup. Right as you bring up the offensive defensive matchup, it flips to the other side for these two teams. In a minute 45 in, that puck off of the save and the rebound. It's a one nothing Fighting Hawks lead. Dylan James going through the line first, so you wonder if he didn't get a stick on it in tight, but you're right, it almost looked like the momentum of that puck. Vine fighting for it in the corner and doing so against Louis Jamernick, who is one of the familiar names you might remember as a Pioneers fan, is a wrister opportunity, and right in response, Shai Booyam comes through. Denver's tied it up with 17.20 to go. Buckle your seatbelts, folks. It's going to be a good one. Shai Booyam did not play last Saturday. Held him out of the lineup, just precautionary. The first weekend series in December. Another guy we talked about in the opening this with Jackson Blake had his pocket pick. Ringer the Reds, his shot is turned away. One thing about Denver, they come at you in waves. They have four lines that can absolutely go. Lorenz gets it off the end wall, throws it in front. Carter King is there. Meant for this team thus far this season in net. Last drop from the blue line. And to Tristan Rose and down low to Miko Matica. Another wrister from up top, and that triples off the person and in. And Denver is roaring in the first, a 3 1 lead. Person was motioning potential interference on the goaltender, but I really don't see it. If anything, it's his own place. Still each with just four shots on goals. We near the midway point of this period. Great feed there to a cutting Connor Capone. Capone's got Sam Harris with him. Oh, what a stop by Ludwig Person. Jack Devine couldn't get control. Instead, here comes Jim Perron and a shot from a weird angle. Stopped by the right shoulder of Alec and deflected into the corner. And then Johannes behind the play called for the high stick. So 37 seconds were gone on the North Dakota power play chance, and now even at four on four as Jack Devine drops it back. Massimo Rizzo walks it, finds Devine! It's four to one in the first! He's really unhappy with it now. Rizzo, a good play to find Devine on the back. Jack Devine leads the country in goals. And we will start the second period four on four with a couple of offsetting minors. Denver's McCabe Webster is in the penalty box and so is North Dakota's Garrett Pike. Lost it back in behind himself on the near side. Racing forward through a crowd of pioneers. A shot right on and turned away as Jackson Blake put that off the left pad but then found a cutting McLaughlin and North Dakota's cut the deficit back to two. It's four to two in the second. Jackson Blake, we talked about him early in the telecast. He's just, he's just tireless. He's relentless and when he's on the ice, he makes good things happen, and he's all those things, and he's really skilled. And well, for Pioneers fans, you can tell there's a little anxiety right now with North Dakota down only two. And a minute 25 to go with the extra man. Blake drops it back. Perron across, and there it is. And it's four to three. Really good puck movement by North Dakota. They're able to slide it across to Cameron Berg. Good deception there on the pass by Perron. And Berg the left. And the final five seconds taken away as Freddie Howlett counts it down. Zeve Bouillon walking in. Weave is sprung from the box. No shots on the power play chance for Denver. And somehow that slips through Carson. And it's into the back of the net. And the I was just 
just about to say the power play's ending and Denver really didn't generate a whole lot of momentum off of that man advantage. If anything, North Dakota was only gaining. And so the number one ranked team has fallen here on Friday night. We've seen a couple of breakdowns, especially when that puck's below the goal line. That was one a moment ago, but Halleck with a big save. Nice move here by Jackson. Blake, what a dance move. And what a goal for the sophomore from Eden Prairie, Minnesota. It's back to a one goal game again. Charlie, this felt like it all started. Big face-off win, and then Jackson Blake does what Jackson Blake does. Turns a couple of guys. Denver exhausted defensively a moment ago, but now the Pioneers with a chance here with this draw in the Ozone. Yeah, Denver had turned the tide there a little bit and then had possession. Chance here for Jamernick, and he's in and scores! Defensive zone face-off. North Dakota able to win the race up the ice. Good job to tap that puck across into the middle by Dylan James over to his line mate, Louis Jamernick, and Jamernick. McLaughlin finds Gaber, the captain. Dropped it back for Jamernick. Pike back to Gaber. Here's Pike once more. To Gaber in the circle. Jamernick screening in front of Freddie Halleck. Pike finds Gaber again and shoots and scores the go-ahead goal. And the Fighting Hawks just steamrolling toward the end of regulation in this one. Great shot off the stick of Gaber. He's able to take that pass, pull it in, and let this shot go. Denver has looked gassed. Yeah, your nonverbal says a lot. When we showed that bench, North Dakota, they're just up, they're moving, they're into it. Here's a chance for Cameron Bird. 7-5. Wow. Knox travel, but you can see this coming for Cameron Bird. When you had just described it, Tyler, where North Dakota they seem fresh. Uh, and the Fighting Hawks showing why tonight as the final seconds will tick away on this one. And North Dakota with a very impressive come from behind win. Let's take a look at tonight's beautiful cut of the game.